One more to go. There we go. Good morning, everyone. It is fantastic. Excuse me. I had a hiccup going on. Fantabulous Friday. Good morning, everyone. It's Carol Sue, aka Nani Boss. And really excited about this Fantabulous Friday. We hope you are too. But good morning. And I'm with you. Sisters. Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Janice, aka Wellness Diva 6.0 on this Fantabulous Friday. August 11th, <laughs> episode number 674, and it is always fantabulous indeed, and I'm uh, wrapping my wraps. Wrapping your wraps. Okay, well, you have to fill, for those of you that can't see, I think she held something up. I'm not sure what it was. These are okay. uh, my the wraps when I wrap my hands when I go uh kickboxing oh gotcha all right well we we need an explanation because you know wrapping could be like you're wrapping something for your foot or you got an injury or gauze and mm -hmm. i didn't see it right away so i wasn't really sure what it was well that's good that it's something to do with health and wellness and nothing that has to do with an injury so those, those are always good things but it is fantastic friday and don't you love the vibe of friday for many reasons obviously the obvious one for those that are working that nine to five you know, thank God it's Friday. Like, get this day over so I can kick off my weekend. Uh, some work a four-day week. So they got Thursday night to kind of pregame before they get to that Friday, fantastic Friday feeling. But I like it. Uh, not for those obvious reasons, because we are entrepreneurs and we work when we want. Uh, you know, we put in the time. Obviously, we put in the passion. We put in the work. We do the do. But we have flexibility that some people do not have. And it's a choice. Uh, you know, it truly is a tr choice and a choice that many people don't grasp. A lot of people don't understand why you would do something unconventional from the traditional nine to five. And for me, it's about time, where I place my time and how much value time truly is. And you kind of reach that pivotal moment in your life when you realize you really, we, we, we all know, and we all say we're on borrowed time, but when you reach a certain point in your life and, you know, can remember the days when you were like six and you couldn't wait to hit double digits, 10? Well, of course, we have a grandson coming up that is going to be hitting that pivotal moment, but the 10 was then the half, you know, then, then it was from 10 to 13 to actually be a real teenager remember those days and then of course from 13 meant woo woo can't wait till i'm 16 to get my driver's license which uh i believe some states may be different but where we grew up it was 16 years old then when you were 16 way back in the day which is not the same right now way back in the day you couldn't wait for two more years because you were legal you were legal to partake in those adult beverages of course that's changed that's 21 now and then the next pivotal age was your 21 because you were officially legal on everything that you could have passively imagine. That was like the, a huge rite of passing. And then from 21 to 30 were your, you know, informative years of, of being a young adult. You know, the, the, the maturity is a little bit different in your 20s than it is from your teens on generally speaking, not on most uh, men lacking that peace just so you know and don't 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 shoot the messenger uh, that is a fact a scientific fact that women mature quicker than men do there's a reason for that that's why women can multitask much better than men and yes i put it out there and i'm not insulting men i just know where your lane is and where women's lane is and it's definitely two different lanes but then you you know then those other things come up you know dirty 30 lordy 40 50 nifty or whatever they say for 50, 60, I, I don't even know what 60 is. But anywho, when you start really getting into middle pieces and seasons of your middle age, you truly grasp the message, the saying that we are, are, we are on borrowed time. And it means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But it puts me, uh, you know, someone said to me, does your brain ever turn off, Carol Sue? You're, you're, you know, you volunteer for this, you volunteer for that, you know, you're, you're part of a health and wellness company. And now you are taking on another piece. And what I say to people 
is as long as it goes to my core belief of helping people, I'm all about it. And because we're entrepreneurs and because we have the flexibility that we're not working that quote nine to five every single day, we have the opportunity to do that. And that is one of the reasons why I choose networking because I want flexibility. I want to know that, hey, today's a real crappy day. I'm going to put in a 12 hour day, a 15 hour day. And yes, I still do that if it's a crappy day out. You know, I get my chores done. I need to get all that stuff out of the way. But, you know, I focus on social media. I focus on uh, learning different technique techniques of things. I learn, you know, reaching out to my customers, my clients, and continue to do that. And I have that flexibility. And then if there's a day where it's a gorgeous day outside, I want the day off. I can take it off. Uh, for younger versions of me, it would have been amazing because then I could have been there with my kids a lot more when they were growing up instead of, and we had always that flexibility. I always had a job that, you know, I could work off hours. So not to fear with being, uh, bringing up children, but a lot of moms don't have that luxury. So for them, this is a great, uh, direct sales network marketing is a way for them to still be able to do those fun things with their kids, be there for those precious moments because time ticks, it doesn't stop. So what do you say about that, Jim? Well, great points that you bring up there. And I think the the one thing I want to inspire people to think about is not just saying, oh, I like they're pushing this. We're not, okay, we're not pushing anything. But the beauty of what we do is it has pushed us to do other things. Right. We're obviously together. Like, I mean, like to look at the things that you're involved with that you have the opportunity because you have that flexibility. Exactly. You can make sure you lo absolutely love boxing. Uh, for, for a lot of people, just to get to the gym in the morning is a hassle because, you know, there are time slots. You know, they're working that 95 and they're, you know, trying to get the kids off. You've got the flexibility that I love that 5 a.m. boxing class and I'm, I can get it in now, that now because I don't have to worry about that. I got to run rush off to a 95 or... Uh yeah. And the funny thing about that is, you know, somebody asked me this morning, oh, you, you work from home and you still mm -hmm. come to the 5 a.m. I said, absolutely. Because even right. though I'm working at home, I'm still working and it's not going to get done if I don't get it done first thing in the morning. That's just me. Other people, um, you know, they, they did great, a lot better with getting it done, like after work or something. Not me. I'm not one of those. Right. And I, 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 I love that idea that you still have that drive uh, to get to, you know, and we talk about this all the time. I am not a gym person. I do not like gyms. I don't like the smell of gyms. I don't care what gym it is. Um, I, because I'm such a planner of my time, I even calculate, okay, well, how long is it going to take me to get, to get to the gym and back? You know, uh, John's got a great gym that literally is a half a mile away. So that works out for him. It's a guy's gym now. Uh, I definitely wouldn't go to a guy's gym. Uh, and there are females that go there and have no problem with it. Uh, for me, I, I just always think of, I could get in another 20 minutes of a workout or another half hour of a workout, or if I can do a half hour workout, I'm going to get that in. And that would have been the time that I was traveling to get to the gym. So uh, that works for me. Again, doesn't work for, for everyone else. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, the point being that it really is just having that flexibility to be able to, even if it's allowing that freedom to say, you know what, I'm I'm volunteering, I'm, I'm working with this charity, we've got a big event coming up, all my focus has got to be there. Or I want to take time off to go see, you know, my grandchildren, you know, in one of their sporting events, whether it's cheerleading, soccer, football, whatever it may be. Or, you know, as a young mom, you know, how many things, opportunities of different pieces of your child plays after school programs, after school sports that you can't get to because you're working that nine to five and how torn a mom and dad feel about that. So that is why the other good piece about Friday is I feel like it's Friday every day. So I feel fantabulous every day. But the whole point about fantabulous Friday, we know, is to really celebrate our wins celebrate our accomplishments of this past week. No, we're not going back a month ago. We're not going back a year ago. We're not going back. 
this week, did you accomplish everything that you set out to do? So you're accountable for, we're only making you accountable for five days of the week, people. That's all we're doing. And we're making yeah. ourselves accountable, don't you think? Yeah, exactly. And by the way, um, this has nothing to do about something. Um, well, like but, but I've tried pickleball, okay? At some point, you will try kickboxing. Yeah, yeah, I will try it. I mean, I'm I'm always open to try something. It's not a, I think I would like it. I just don't like gym. It's the gym atmosphere. I just something about the gym atmosphere. I cannot, you know, I just can't even. I'm actually going. I've got two uh, a great weekend planned, learning and networking this weekend. So I'm super excited about that. And of course, you know, we are staying at a Marriott brand, so I'm sure there's a gym there. And the problem with, again, like there's certain machines I like and certain machines I don't like, so I'm picky. And they usually don't have the rowing machine. I absolutely love the rowing machine. They don't have that. Usually they don't. Most hotels don't. Well, I should say most. A lot don't. Um, so there's that. So we'll see. But, you know, I'm going to bring in, you know, bring my sneakers. And at best, I'll try to get up, you know, not try. I will get up early in the morning and get up some walking in at least get some movement in yep, there you go you're all you're all wrapped your wraps are all wrapped yeah she, and showed, she happens to be showing those who can't see us she's actually showing her wraps for her boxing these are green so, the, the other funny thing is too that people don't wrap them like i do and they're like did you just buy those and i'm like no i wrap them they're like you wrap that so these are my green ones i'll just show you a couple of them these are my skulls okay i have more skulls it's that school thing there yeah and then i've got like gold in there and then this one is the um the silver very good well you got a, a lot of combinations to go with your outfits how many of you go into a gym and you see all these people that are totally dressed up heel to toe or toe to shoulders or head to, to head to toe that's what i meant to say you know in that 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 perfectly put together outfit exercise outfit that's the other thing that drives me cuckoo well, well i shouldn't say it drives me cuckoo i just think you're going there to work out but i guess that does add pleasure so i shouldn't knock it well and what people don't realize is like i you know i obviously wear workout clothes but i'm not like oh you know i gotta be matching and blah 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 like i'm going in there to work out i'm not going to you know i'm not competing in a beauty pageant and that's right you time you know because i wear my head up and then i've got my my headband so that all the stragglies aren't in my yeah. face um a couple of times i've ran into people like at stop and shop or wherever now they see me in the the gym garb but they don't necessarily recognize me because typically my my hair may be down it may be up but they you know i'm not like sure. in, so th that's kind of neat too I'm so like, you're incognito yeah so tell us about your fantabulous Friday. What's going on? What are you excited about? What are you happy that you checked off on your list? Share with our viewers and listeners. Jan Jan. Well, I'm happy that I got my wraps done because I like everything nice, nice in my bag. It's ready to go. Um, a lot of little things that add up to a lot. I'm working on a pile over here, little by little. So that is fantabulous. And of course, this weekend, um, I am sp spending with Princess Ray Ray and Jedrick. So I'm really excited about that. And they know that Auntie's bringing some junk food with her. Oh, uh, they're going to love that. Uh, we, we, we have an order for um, smart food. And of course, I love potato chips, so I got to bring some of that. But I decided I make it like the little bags because, you know, I'm so tempted around potato Absolutely. chips. I know. And the kids love That's potato chips too. Food, they love chips. They love, they love the chips. They love the uh, smart food for sure. And uh, how is the weather? It's How's actually north? very beautiful today. And Gary's outside <laughs> working on the back part of the, um, here's the fire pit, but then the, yeah. the little thing there. That yeah. area beyond that. Yeah on the back part of that so that's that's looking really nice so that's awesome how about your week what what was on your list that you can share that you said I didn't do good at that but I got this done or I got it all done or you know what 
part of this I really got to work better at, but I just didn't, couldn't get in. Well, I was happy um, in the loft that I got some uh, straightening up done. Um, that's always, sometimes, you know, even though I'm home, it's difficult to get it done. Um, and I do, you know, obviously I have OCD when it comes to laundry and all that. So I caught up with all my laundry and um, yeah, so lot, lots of little things, lots of good things and it's all good. That's good. And that's the whole point of Fantab as far as really saying, you know what, I got to things that maybe I couldn't get to, maybe I said I was going to do it and I fulfilled it, or it could have been as simple as I had to renegotiate something. You know, I knew I was supposed to be at this place at this time or to get to the gym by eight o'clock and realized, oops, I forgot I had an appointment at 830, went to my appointment at 830, but I still managed to get to the gym a little bit later than I thought or I got that work in and later because I had to renegotiate something happened. So we, you know, we had a couple of different wacky things go on this week in our house. Uh, the garbage disposal went, it was making a funny noise. So Lord and behold, you know, it just hit the, hit the shitter. I guess that's how I can say it. It hit the shitter. So we have a great plumber and he was available and a lot of times with something like that, you have to wait for weeks for someone to come in. So, you know, it was just making sure because now we got into the habit of using it. Don't put anything in there. Um, and John reorganized underneath the sink. That was his job. And although it really wasn't badly unorganized, uh, he reorganized a little bit. So it does look a little bit neat and tidy. So I, we, that was good. Uh, working, still working on my Pilates bar. Learning awesome. different learning different techniques with that. And actually I'm going to take that with me this weekend. So on my off time, I can, uh, while well, I'm not a gym person, I still can get some some work in. I'm going to have my mat and, uh, you know, I don't even know if I'm going to bring my mat. I may do uh, work on upper body so that, so I wouldn't have to use a mat. But, you know, just making sure that I'm getting in that movement, you know, it took me a while to get back into the swing of things with my hip and my back, but, I'm, you know, body's feeling much better. I've uh, been getting in some laps. Uh, also on point with uh, my intermittent fasting and doing my nutrition. So I'm super excited and learning things. Uh, for those of our viewers and listeners, uh, Jan gave me a, a quick update. We did a Zoom yesterday. It was a, a teaching Zoom for me to really understand and know the uh the the tech technical piece to really doing our podcast she's always been in charge of that but we realized that i really need to learn it so it's not not something up in my wheelhouse and i the the first piece i'm pretty much i kind of knew that part already um but we will see the test next week as i will go live on tuesday and wednesday Tuesday will be my first time I'm actually going alone because Jan's got commitments and uh, we shall see how well I do or, or what I don't do. And if I have to renegotiate or renavigate, because that's usually something that could happen. And we have the early bloopers of our original podcast going in the beginning days where Jan was new to it, but she stuck with it and is very proficient, a great teacher. So I've got to study. Uh, thankfully, she was smart enough to record uh, the training. So I can review that. I'm going to review that this weekend as well. One of the things I like about going away and I'm going, it's a, it's a work trip for sure. And it's all about, you know, you, you start, you hear me talking about more about uh, that green card. Uh, it's some of that. It's also, uh, I also have an event with my nutritional company. So I've got all these different things going on. And what I like about that is my downtime is I can really focus. I have no distractions. There's something about being uh, away in a room by yourself that forces you to get things done that you're trying to do, uh, you know, on your computer or obligations or things that you got to get done with no distractions. So I'm kind of excited about that is uh, while I'm going to be with uh, 300 uh, people are coming to this event uh, for the, the uh, training piece to it. You know, I don't know a soul. I know some of them just from, you know, seeing them online. So that is going to be interesting. I'm kind of, you know, and a lot of people say, oh, you go away and you don't know a single soul. No, but that's part of the adventure. So I'm kind of excited. Yes, a, an adventure awaits. And, you know, I think sometimes that's really exciting because you don't know, but you, you learn 
so much by listening and engaging and that sparks curiosity and like oh you know I can do this and um you know who's and that will help me to help others do this so I always think that's that's a great thing to do hmm all kinds of good stuff but this is the day we wanted to make sure that you you know have that conversation with yourself and what I mean by that is literally have a conversation with yourself sounds a little odd right um, but you know what? How many times you're in front of that mirror? You're brushing your teeth. You're you're putting on your makeup. You're brushing your hair. You're drying your hair. You're you know, washing your face. Whatever it may be, have the conversation with yourself. It's a little weird in the beginning. I know. However, there's something about listening to yourself as you speak and actually physically seeing you because you're seeing your reflection to really have that conversation. I did good this week, or I had to renegotiate, or even. I sucked. I didn't do what I said I was set out to do. How am I going to do better? Because at the end of the day, the only person that you owe your workload to, what you owe who you are, what you owe, and we all owe it because we got to be accountable, is the reflection in the mirror. Say what you're going to do, do it, say what you mean. But at the same time, prepare yourself that you're going to have to renegotiate sometimes a lot of the times most of the time right and there's nothing wrong with that because that's life life continually throws us curveballs but you want to make sure that you're saying you know what despite it all congratulations to me i got it done or i excelled even further than i even thought possible that i could do it or yeah there was a couple of days that i slacked off why why did I do that? What was distracting me? What was on my mind that I could not get done when I wanted to? And then when you get it out, you feel like the sense of relief and say, oh, I didn't, you know, I'm having this conversation by myself and I'm talking it out. And it kind of reminds me when I tell people when I lose something, most men lose things several times a day. And I'll mm -hmm. say, Johnny, retrace your steps. Like, don't think about it, just retrace your steps. Where were you at certain points? And, uh, you know, a perfect example was the other night I was up late doing a lot of reach outs, uh, chatting with people. And I have two different chargers, uh, you know, some, you know, when I'm on the couch, which I'm very rarely on the couch because I'm always moving around and on the computer, you know, doing things like, you know, very limited that night, you know, John likes to watch certain shows and so I'll sit with him and watch the show, but, you know, I'm also working at the same time. So I plug in my charger there and that's my main charger. But I've noticed that our cat Tate likes to chew on the wires. And I always think of, you know, the, the movie Christmas Vacation where the cat, you know, is biting the Christmas tree wires and poof. So I get nervous. So I was wrapping it up. And I remember I don't want to put it on my nightstand because normally it's plugged in. And I don't want, because the cats, you know, especially little Jerry Seinfeld, he always jumps on my nightstand to get cuddle with me. And he he'll sometimes will bat things off the nightstand. So I said, let me put it down in this area. And that way, you know, it won't disturb the cats. It won't get moved around, blah, blah, blah. Well, the next day, do you think I could find it? Do you think I could remember what I did with it? I looked in every obvious spot, my office, the nightstand, inside the nightstand. I said, oh, did I go into my, because I have a walk-in closet. Did I go in there? Did I went to change and put it down on one of the shelves? Nope. Hmm. I was in the bathroom. Did I, you know, and could not find it anywhere. And I was convinced, really convinced that John picked it up. Because a lot of times he'll pick up some of my stuff, very rarely, but when he does, and he puts it in a spot that I don't think of. And then I'm like, then it really dressed me cuckoo. Could not find it anywhere. So I was in the laundry room and I just kept thinking about it. And I said, what do I always tell him? Retrace your steps. So I envisioned and I went back to sitting on the couch, remembering to, you know, wind it up. And I said, where did I go from here? Because I already was in the bathroom. I already brushed my teeth. I already had my jammies on. I you know, already did my night routine. Well, I would have just walked right to the bed. But I do remember saying, I don't want to put it on the nightstand because I don't want to have the cats bad at all. So let me rewalk the route. As cuckoo as this sounds, rewalk the route in your own home? Yes. 
So sat on the couch. I remember having my water, my water uh, container here. So I had the water container. I remember having my phone and I remember having the, the uh, cord wrapped up. And sure, so I'm like, I know I only walked to the bedroom. So I'm like, what's from here to the bedroom? And I says, oh, let me just start walking. So I started to walk it. And sure enough, the last chair that's in the family room, the I have a cute little pill, pillow that's on it. And I had moved it a certain way because I put, I didn't want to make noise because it was late. I didn't want to make noise because sometimes when you put down a cord, you know, the cord makes noise or even the uh, charge piece to it makes noise. I put it down there because my, actually I had my phone and I had this. And I had a bundle of clothes that I forgot that I had in my hand. So it's fumbling. So I said, oh, I'll just put it on this chair because it'll land there. Won't make noise. And then I can put the clothes away real quick and jump into bed. So where did I find it? On the chair where I left it, but I forgot. How many of you are like, I can swear I put it here. But I couldn't even swear to that because I just could not. I'm like, what did I do with it? You know, it's one of the things. It was late at night, you know, just getting off of, you know, doing some messaging or whatever. So I always tell people, retrace your steps, you know, and when you do, you'll find, uh, you might find something that you weren't expecting, but hopefully you'll find what you were expecting. And isn't that amazing? And on that note, uh, how do you rewalk the route? You know, of course, for me in the house, like if I'm upstairs, you know, I naturally put my phone down in the kitchen, you know, the kit, poppy's Number three. Kitchen whatever number it is, I can't keep up with it and <laughs> go somewhere else. And I'm like, oh my God, where's, where's my phone? Now at this point, I've been all over the house. So I'm going up and down, back and forth, this and that. Look at all the exercise and you're getting. I know I, I walked two miles before I find my phone, but whatever, it's all good. Let us know how you rewalk the route. On that note, we hope you have a fantabulous Friday, a great weekend. Remember, there's always something to celebrate. My name is Janice, aka Wellness Diva 6.0, and I'm with two sisters. And this is Carol Sue, aka Naughty Boss, getting my packing done and ready to hit the road. Orlando, here I come. Excited to meet uh, amazing new leaders in this new company and uh, just just chatting, just talking, just networking. You know, I love. Uh, the ability to be able to meet new people. And I love the, the, the journeys that we do take on, uh, always to be open to meet other people, let new people into your life, interesting people, even the kooky ones. Uh, it has so much spice to your life. With that, we hope you have a fantabulous Friday. Don't forget to celebrate. Pat yourself on the back that you did a good job. We know you did. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you Monday for Monday Mindset. Take care, everyone. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.